hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel learning and sharing in today's video we will discuss about the ozone depletion that why our ozone is being depleting why our ozone is being thinning तो आज हम पढ़ेंगे आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि हमारा ओजोन थिन कैसे हो रहा है कम कैसे होता जा रहा है वॉट आर द रीजन्स वॉट आर द कॉजेस एंड विच आर द सब्सटेंस विच आर मेकिंग अवर ओजोन थिनर यानी कि उसको कम कर रहे हैं सो बिफोर गोइंग टू इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ दीज ऑल थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू सब्सटेंस यू नो एंड वाट कुड बी द इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ थिनिंग ऑफ ओजोन आर यू नो नेरोइंग ऑफ द ओजोन ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ I want to have a you know quick uh, you know introduction of ozone itself. Okay, what ozone is is is? Okay, ozone खुद है क्या? So ozone actually is a thin layer of O3 gases, O3, ozone molecules, O oxygen gases, you know, uh, which is being located in the stratosphere. Uh, these gases, this thin layer of gases, usually protect us from ultraviolet radiations you know so these ultraviolet radiations such as beta rays gamma rays x rays uh, if they reach on the surface of earth uh, they are going to destroy everything which is being on the earth jitni bhi cheeze zameen pe maujood hain unko ya to nuksan de sakta hai ya unko khatam kar sakta hai so you can you know guess from that how our ozone is very important for us you know so ozone uh, let's uh, determine where is been existing ye kahan pe maujood hai but before you know uh, determining or uh, you know asserting the location of ozone you need to understand the layeric composition layeric standing of the atmosphere ab uh, what is atmosphere atmosphere is a blanket of gases of different gases which which surrounds our earth uh, ये गैसेस पे मुश्तम जो हमारे जम, जम, उस पर चारों तरफ हमारे उस पर मौजूद मौजूद हैं बेसिकली देर आर फोर लेयर्स ऑफ द एटमोसफियर बट यू मे मे फाइंड फाइव और सिक्स इन डिफरेंट बुक्स अच्छा कुछ बुक्स तो ऐसे हैं जहाँ पे इट इज़ बीन रिटर्न ओजोन इज अ लेयर इज अ सेपरेट लेयर इज अ डिफरेंट फ्राम रेस्ट ऑफ द लेयर्स बट यूजली कॉमनली ओजोन इज बीन फाउंड इन द स्ट्रोस्फियर विच इज द सेकेंड लेयर सो देर आर फोर लेयर्स वन फर्स्ट इज द फ्रॉम बॉटम टू द टॉप फर्स्ट इज द ट्रोपोस्फियर देन वी हैव एस्ट्रोस्फियर देन वी हैव अ मैसोस्फियर देन वी हैव एक्सोस्फियर देर कुड बी अ डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑल्सो आपको मुख्तलिफ किताबों में मुख्तलिफ नाम मिलेंगे यू नो द कंपोजिशन ऑफ एटमोसफियर इज बीन यू नो Uh, determine on the basis of temperature variation, temperate uh, temperate composition. उसके basis पे ये बनाया गया है सो जो ट्रोपोस्फियर है ट्रोपोस्फियर विच इज अ लोअर लेयर विच इज द फर्स्ट लेयर फ्रॉम द बॉटम इट्स एवरेज हाइट इज टेन टू फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर टेन टू एटीन किलोमीटर एवरेज हाइट एंड देन आफ्टर बैट वी हैव अ स्ट्रोसफियर विच इज सेकेंड लेयर Uh, at the top from the tro uh, from the troposphere which is from 18 to 15 km about 90% of ozone is being existing in the tropos in the stratosphere which is a second layer yahan pe before going to the detail of uh, ozone we need to understand this you know certain phenomena which is happening because of the uh, standing or the existing of the ozone layer number one when the common understanding is that when we go up when we go up in the sky uh, in the atmosphere the temperature decrease the temperature decrease with the height we call this phenomena lapse rate temperature lapse rate lapse rate so after with a certain you know temperature has been decreasing after every certain you know distance uh, you can say uh, you know after every you know 1000 uh, uh, meter certain temperature has been decreased so it happens in the happens in the Uh, troposphere first layer. Uh, there is a line. There is a border line which uh, which we call the tropo tropo pass, which uh, divide the troposphere uh, with the stratosphere. So, usko usko hum kehte hain tropo pass. So, from 18 to 50, we have a stratosphere. Usme ozone paya jata hai. Kahi books me ozone alag bhi likha gaya hai ki it's a it's a individual or a separate layer. Ab jo troposphere hai, wahan pe kya hota hai? If we go up If you go up, 
द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज सो वी कॉल दिस फेनोमेना टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन इसको हम कहते हैं टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन वहां पे क्या हो रहा था कि टेम्परेचर कम होता था यहां पे टेम्परेचर बढ़ रहा है अब हमने क्या क्या कहा कि जो ओजोन है इट्स अ प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर सो इट्स बीन स्टॉपिंग यू नो दीज अल्ट्रा वर्ल्ड रीजन लाइक एक्स रेज गामा रेज बीटा रेज विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दी सन तो वहां से जो अल्ट्रा वायल्ड रेडिएशन आती है उसको स्टॉप करता है सिमिलरली जो चीजें नीचे से आती है अब वो जो ऊपर से चीजें आए दे आर बीन रिटर्न इन बैक बाय द ओजोन और जो चीजें नीचे से आती हैं दे आल्सो बीन रिटर्न बैक टू द अर्थ सरफेस तो ये भी यही है कि जैसे आप ऊपर जाएंगे तो टेम्परेचर बढ़ रहा है इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग ऑफ द ओजोन अब ओजोन क्या है वो नीचे से ज्यादा गर्म हो रहा है बनस्पत इफ यू कंपेयर फ्रॉम द अपर साइड क्यों यहां पे गर्म हो रहा है क्योंकि इट इज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस विच आर द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस लाइक यू नो क्लोरोफ्लो कार्बन क्लोरिन सो दीज सब्सटेंस विच आर बी इमिटिंग फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट यू नो थिंग्स लाइक यू नो इंडस्ट्रीज और देर फ्यूल एंड फ्रॉम द यू नो houses you know so these are these all are the pollutant you know or you know poisonous cases which which go up and they concentrate in the in the ozone layer because kyunki ozone jo upar wali cheeze unko nahi aane de raha aur isi tarah wo niche wali cheezon ko bhi upar nahi aane de raha to jahan pe ye cheeze niche se upar aa rahi hain so they are being concentrating in the uh, at the ozone ozone and now mostly is been said ozone is being found from 25 so for from 45 to 50 km about 90% about 90% ozone is been found in the stratosphere 10% in the troposphere to agar aap kahe ke which is the limit or distance from 10 to 50 km 10 to 50 km but mostly 90% is from 45 to 50 km फ्राम द बॉटम इन द एटमोसफेयर वहां पर भी हमारा ओजोन पाया जाता है नाउ ओजोन इज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर ये जो सोलर रेडिएशन सोलर इन सोलेचर वी कॉल दैट यू नो अबाउट वॉट इज से फिफ्टी वन परसेंट ओनली फिफ्टी वन परसेंट सोलर रेडिएशन रीच द सर्फेस द बॉटम ऑफ द अर्थ जमीन पर सिर्फ फिफ्टी वन परसेंट पहुंचिए फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ सोलर रेडिएशन इज बी रिटर्न बैक बिकॉज ऑफ द ओजोन वो स्पेस में चली जाए दाउस बीन स्केटेड और शेटर जो भी आप उसके वो वापस चली जाती है सो फिफ्टी वन परसेंट यहाँ पे पहुंचती है सो ओजोन इज अ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस इज आई टोल यू एलियर इफ इट हेजन बीन एग्जिस्टिंग देयर कुड हैव बीन लॉट्स ऑफ चेंजेस हर फेस ऑफ तो जिंदगी ये जो जमीन के ऊपर जितने फैनामेना आप देख रहे हैं इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द ओजोन ओजोन अगर ये ओजोन नहीं होता देयर कुड हैव बीन नो लाइफ you can imagine there could have been no life and so so everything has been perished because insan is more fragile you know human being animals they are more fragile more weakened to wo usko bada nuksan de de so it is because of the ozone that we have a life on the surface of earth so so now i'll give you a detail uh, you know knowledge or information about the which are the substance which are the you know things which make you know or which are the causes of ozone depletion ki hamara ozone thin kyun ho raha hai uski uski jo thickness hai wo kam kyun hoti hoti ja rahi hai kaun si jo jo gases hai which we 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 throw in the sky throw in the atmosphere and they become part of the ozone and they making it thinner wo kaun si hai and what are the impacts on the surface of earth wo kya hota hai uske baad we also see what we could, what we can do what we can do to preserve the purity of the ozone to make it more pure ke usko hum more we make it more reliable ke ozone usi shakal mein rahe aur jo uski thinne se usko kam kare aur kya kya hame what step we can do for that so let's go into the details uh, on the slides to you know understand to know about to know all these things so yes we are now will discuss in detail about the you know the uh, what are the sources of ozone depletion and uh, you know what we, what we can do to improve or restore the you know the ozone is a layer to protect us from the ultraviolet radiation so uh, as uh, you know we have already discussed in detail the definition and background of ozone now what actually ozone depletion is 
So the ozone layer depletion is a thinning of ozone layer present in the upper atmosphere. This happens when the chlorine and bromine atoms in the atmosphere come in contact with ozone and destroy the ozone molecules. So what is it saying? कि हमारा जो ओजोन है वो वो थिन क्यों हो रहा है डिप्लेट क्यों हो रहा है इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द यू नो इंटरेक्शन ऑफ क्लोरीन एंड ब्रोमाइन गैसेस विद द ओजोन जब ये क्लोरीन और ब्रोमाइन गैसेस ओजोन लेयर के साथ टकराती हैं या उनके साथ कांटेक्ट में आती हैं तो ये उसको ओजोन लेयर को खराब करती है सो वन क्लोरिन कैन डिस्ट्रॉय वन लेक मॉलिक्यूल्स of ozone it is destroyed more quickly than it's created some compounds release chlorine and bromine bromine on exposure to high ultraviolet light which then contribute to the ozone layer depletion such compounds are known as ozone depleting substance so ye jo ods substance hain ye hamare ozone ko ozone layer ko tabah karti hain ya usko chhota karti hain the ozone depleting substance that contain chlorine include chlorofluorocarbon carbon thyroxide uh, uh, tetrachlorine chloride hydro hydrochlorofluorocarbons and methyl chloroform whereas the ozone depleting substance that contain bromine are halons uh, methyl bromide and hydro so the chlorofluorocarbons are the most abundant ozone depleting, uh, depleting substance it is only when the chlorine atoms react with some other, other molecules it doesn't react with the ozone uh, so we have a few you know steps uh, international steps you know where you know so they are been looking after or uh, you can say they are been assessing the whole scenario so it is a long history uh, you know because ozone when it was you know first Uh, what is say found that has been depleting so since then you know there are different agreements or you know sittings at the international level so one of them is montreal montreal protocol which was proposed in, in 1987 to stop the use uh, of production import of ozone depleting substances and minimize their concentration in atmosphere to protect the ozone layer of the earth so actually ek muhayda hua tha uh, 1987 mein के जितने ममालिक हैं वो जो ओजोन डिप्लेटिंग सब्सटेंस हैं वो जो ओजोन को खराब करते हैं उन उनका इस्तेमाल कम करेंगे सो दो देर अ लॉ दर ऑलरेडी देर लॉ और यू नो एग्रीमेंट बट इफ यू लुक इट यू नो वी डोंट सी एनी सब्सटेंशियल यू नो प्रोग्रेस इन दिस रिगार्ड क्योंकि यू नो हर कोई अपने हिसाब से ये सब्सटेंस का इस्तेमाल हो रहा है बिकॉज इंडस्ट्रीज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड सन अदर you know uh, machines when you run them uh, so they you know run through the power so and they emit such gases to kuch mualon ka ye khayal hai ki agar hum in cheezon ko kam kar denge ya inko stop kar denge to hamari tarakki jo hai na wo bhi kam hoti jayegi now what we'll see what are the causes of ozone layer depletion so the ozone layer depletion is a major concern it is associated with a number of factors the main causes responsible for the depleting of ozone layer are listed below because chlorofluorocarbons and regulated uh, rocket lo uh, launches ab yahan pe dekhenge which are uh, cfcs are the main cause of ozone layer depletion these are released by solvents spray aerosols रिफ्रिजरेटर्स एयर कंडीशन सो इनसे जो गैसेस निकलती हैं एक्चुअली दीज आर दी सी एफ सीज गैसेज द मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ क्लोरोफ्लोरोकॉर्बॉन इन द एटमोसफियर आर ब्रोकन डाउन बाई अल्ट्रावाइल रेडिएशन एंड रिलीज क्लोरिन आइटम्स जब उनके साथ मिलती हैं तो उनको जो अल्ट्रावाइल रेडिएशन है उनको ब्रेक डाउन करती है और उनसे क्या है क्लोरिन रिलीज होती है सो दीज एटम रिएक्ट विद ओजोन डिस्ट्रॉयड अनरेगुलेटेड रॉकेट लॉन्चेस so researchers say that the unregulated launching of rocket result in the much more depletion of ozone layer than the cfcs do if not controlled this might result in a huge loss of ozone layer by the year 2050 to jo aasman mein upar sky mein jo aap rockets hain wo jo chal rahe hain wo they are being the responsible of you know depleting our ozone layer ab ye bhi kaha kaha ja raha hai ki ये सी एफ सी जो यू नो जो गैसेज है उससे ज्यादा खतरनाक है नाइट्रोजन कंपाउंड दी नाइट्रोजन कंपाउंड सच एनओ टू एनओ एन टू आर हाईली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डिप्लेटिंग ऑफ ओजोन लेयर 
natural causes. Uh, the ozone layer has been found to be depleting by certain natural processes such as sunspots and strato, uh, strato, uh, stratospheric winds. Uh, you will know if you are a student of geography or earth sciences, the sun has certain sports, uh, docker sports at the center or uh, you know, on the surface or the body. And we have also sort of winds which are being emitting from the sun also. But it does not cause more than 1 to 2% of ozone layer depletion. Depletion. So what is saying here? The natural causes are the sun sports, stratograph, stratospheric winds. They are also the reason to reduce our ozone. But it is saying that only 1 to 2%, only 1 to 2% of our ozone is you see, the volcanic eruption are also responsible for depletion of the ozone layer. So you see, we also been known about the eruption, volcanism, volcanic eruption, the certain material which is coming out at the surface of the earth through the vent of, you know, mountain or the volcano from the inside of the earth. Because I mean, stone, smoke, 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 you know, salt, yes, there are other gases, and they have also been part of the atmosphere. So, effects of ozone layer, what effects are there if our ozone depletes? So, the depletion of ozone layer has harmful effects on the environment. Let us see the major effects of ozone layer depletion on men in the environment. So, first of all, we have a human health. The humans will be directly exposed to the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun due to depletion of ozone layer. This might result in serious health issues among humans such as skin disease, cancer, sunburns, cataracts, quick aging and the weakened immune system. So, first of all, we will be able to be in the health of this person, Bimariya, or subsa jada jo skin bimariya, wo ho sakti hai. It can burn your skin also. Cancer ho sakti hai. Sunburns, cataract, aankhon ka masla bhi ho sakta hai. Nazar and quick aging. Yani ki ab jaldi bure ho sakti hai. And auto, it also going to weaken your immune system. Immune system will save you from the disease or you know anything which annually happen around you. So, just say that you are weak or weak, then it will weaken your immune system. Now, we will see animals. So, direct exposure to the ultraviolet radiation leads to skin and eye cancer in the animals, similar like human. Environment, in environment, what is the case? Strong ultraviolet rays may lead to minimal growth. Flowering and photosynthesis in plants. So, the photosynthesis is normal or flowering is normal when uh, it start to bloom or grow, which is flowering, the forests also have to bear a harmful effect of the ultraviolet rays. So, the ultraviolet radiation chain and your rays are very important in the forest and also in marine life. So, in marine life, uh, plankton are greatly affected by the exposure to harmful ultraviolet rays or radiation. So, you know, if you are the student of biology, you know, you must know about the plankton, a special type of, you know, plants being mostly being, you know, grown inside the water, especially the oceanic water. So, these uh, are higher in aquatic food chains. So, in the water, there is a food chain, the flow or the cycle of food from one animal organism to another animal organism, so it can be a good effect. So, if the plankton is destroyed, the organism trained in the lower food chain are also affected. So, a chain of food key from up to down, from high to low. So, if the plankton is destroyed or they are being perished or being killed, you are destroyed, they can affect the food chain. So, those small organisms can be affected because of the non-absence of the plankton. Now, what could be the solution to the ozone layer depletion? The depletion of the ozone layer is a serious issue and various programs have been launched by the government of various countries to prevent it. However, steps should be taken at the individual as well as uh, you know, the uh, group level, a uh, community level to prevent the depletion of uh, ozone layer. Uh, lots have been going on. Both are communities, uh, you know, we don't see a collective effort. Ke collective effort, ho, ke, uh, yeah, there should be a 
स्टर्न स्ट्रिक्ट लॉ कि दुनिया में इंटरनेशनल लॉ हो कि भाई इसका यूज कम हो ऐसी चीजों में ऐसी एक्टिविटीज कम हो फिर कोई असर पड़े इंडिविजुअल बेसिस पे तो हो रहा है मगर इट डेव यू नो ह्यूज और सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट सो वॉट वी कैन डू सो अवॉइड यूजिंग पेस्टिसाइड द नेचुरल मेथड Uh, should be implemented to get rid of paste and weeds instead of using chemicals you know to pesticide wo pesticides wo dawaein jo yani ke jo weed aur isko khatam karti hain theek hai na grass ko ya jo un you know unwanted grass hai ya is kisam ki to jo dawaein istemal hoti hain agriculture production ke liye ki usko badhaye usko safe kare wo jo pesticides hoti hain they are been killing those तो वो एक्चुअली वो केमिकल्स होते सो इफ वी यू नो रिड्यूस द यूज ऑफ दो पेस्टिसाइड यू नो जो हम केमिकल्स यूज करते हैं इनको खत्म करने के लिए तो उससे फर्क पड़ सकता है वन कैन यूज इको फ्रेंडली केमिकल्स रिमूव द पेस्ट और रिमूव द वेट्स नेचुरली या तो वो जो ग्रास है जो वेट्स है अगर आप उसको हाथ से तरीके से करें तो इट्स मोर बेटर कि आप जो है ना केमिकल्स यूज करें सो मिनिमाइज यूज ऑफ सोमिट लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एज वेल एज ओजोन डिप्लेशन यू नो दल दहीकल्स यू नो एनी टाइप ऑफ व्हीकल यू नो कार्स बिगर और स्मॉलर वन यू नो हैवी लोडेड व्हीकल्स यू नो दल यू नो बीन यू नो कंज्यूमिंग दू नो the fuel and once fuel is being you know burned so it emits these greenhouse gases so therefore the use of vehicles should be minimized such as possible ki jitna kam ho sake hum transport to se so use of eco friendly cleaning products ki aap aisa kare ki cleaning products so most of the cleaning products have chlorine and bromine releasing chemicals they find a way into the atmosphere affect to the ozone layers so jo cleaning product hai jisse hum safai karte hain usme se wo they are been based on chemicals particularly the chlorine and bromine to zahiri baat hai jab hum unko use karenge to unse substance niklega and they'll be uh, you know go into the sky so these should be substituted with natural product to protect the environment use of nitrous oxide should be prohibited so nitrous oxide jo hai usko aap इसके यूज को आप कम करें द गवर्नमेंट शुड टेक एक्शन एंड प्रोहबिट द यूज ऑफ हार्मफुल टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू